Talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, if there was any doubt that they want to restrict free speech, shooting could tame tough political rhetoric. Really like lying about WMDs in Iraq, killing all those people on our side and the Iraqi side. They are making a full court press right now to go after our free speech. I want to come back in the next little segment. This one's only five minutes long, but I want to talk now with Jim Mars. Uh, here's the Reuters headline, shooting could tame tough political rhetoric. Protesters parade a uh, altered photo of President Barack Obama uh, spouting an Adolf Hitler-like mustache. A candidate for the Senate muses about gun remedies if election results don't go the right way. Members of Congress are spat on and taunted with racial epithets before uh, casting votes for health care reform bill. Turned out that was a lie, by the way. Uh, welcome to politics American style. And then they go on and say, better restrict free speech. Uh, you know, don't put people on all this Prozac type stuff that they have to put on the insert can cause violent outburst or suicide. Uh, don't lie about WMDs. Don't know. All of that can continue. Just shut us up. And here it is, CBS News, Obama eyeing Internet ID for Americans. That's the beginning of tracking and taxing everything. Jim Mars. Yep. That seems to be the, uh, the whole program. And, of course, the problem is it's always plausible deniability. So, for instance, at this point, we don't know whether Jared Lee Lochner, uh, you know, was truly just a nutcase and acted on his own or if he was part of some uh, sinister conspiracy, if you will. Uh, that'll all shake out, I guess, in the wash. But, of course, by the time we finally figure out which of those two uh, choices it is, then uh, they'll already be pushing full court for, uh, you know, more and more gun control, uh, more and more Internet control, less and less free speech. In fact, you know what, Alex, would you agree with me on this? I think uh, the, the, the answer to all this is the exact, exact opposite of what they're saying. They're saying we need to restrict free speech, we need to curtail the Internet, we need to, in other words, sit down and shut up. And I say, no, it's the exact opposite. We need to reveal and lay everything out on the table. There That's right, be because the path the globalists with their social engineering is taking us on is the design collapse of society, and out of that chaos, they then bring total tyranny as their order, as right. their solution. The answer is, like so many shootings that have been stopped by somebody owning a gun, I guarantee you, I have a political rally, or I'm at an event, I got somebody there packing heat. You better believe it quietly. The answer is more guns, not less. And it was right. people physically taking him down that stopped it. It took the cops five minutes to get there, which isn't bad. But still, he probably would have killed 100 people if somebody hadn't tackled him. And what if they'd have had a gun? They could have just blown his head off a lot quicker. That, that, that would put a stop to it right there. And the thing is, uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, actually, that goes back years to when they first were having all these air, airline hijacking. And uh, people were hijacking air, aircraft and saying, take me to Cuba. And even back then, I said, you know, instead of uh, shaking everybody down and putting in expensive uh, x-ray machines, and of course, I had no idea at that time that they'd actually be making you strip down and fondling your genitals. And all like that. I mean, even the Nazis didn't have the audacity to try that in a public place. But even back then, I said, you know, why don't they just have a stewardess with a tray of little Saturday night specials given to everybody on the plane? And nobody would dare stand up and say, I'm taking over this plane. It's just the same And for thing. idiots that say it would depressurize the plane, you put what air marshals use, sheer safety slugs that, yeah. that, 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 that won't shoot through a plane but will liquefy somebody's insides. They have a lot of punch, but it's only right on impact. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to bring down the airplane with that. But then that, that's kind of pushing it to the extreme. But you're absolutely correct. If, they, if, if, if every, you, you think of the old West, Okay, and of course you think of the gunfighter. Okay, Stay there. Brown. Let's finish this talk on the other side because you know Homeland Security is proposing everybody wear a bracelet with a taser in it. I'm not kidding. We'll be right back with Jim Mars to finish up with that thought, and then we're going to get into more on mind control and more on this uh, demon creature. We'll be right back.
This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. There are literally scores of news articles saying conspiracy theories must be banned. That means not believing the government. Scientists decades ago said they're mining the sodium fluoride out of rocks that have uranium in it. Don't drink the tap water. Now it's mainstream news in Texas that the state government with the feds covered it up for two decades. Source CBS News Associated Press. Well, here it is. I guess I'm a conspiracy theorist. Uh, vitriol cited as possible factor in Arizona tragedy. The NPR. Uh, here's an AP. In the aftermath of uh, Gifford shooting, a debate over heated polit uh, political rhetoric. Here's another one. Reuters. Shooting could tame tough political rhetoric. And it goes on. Uh, and says, oh, somebody spit on congressmen who weren't for the health care bill. Turned out that was a hoax. You know, the point is, do you, nobody has prior restraint on me and my free speech. I'm free. And, and now we've got TSA putting their hands down our pants uh, and, and putting up telescreens in Walmarts and other stores saying spy on your neighbors. I mean, is, is every cornfield going to have security guards in it? I'm going to put on screen a Wired Magazine article Two years ago, three years ago, we first found this video from Homeland Security. And Homeland Security had a meeting. They're proposing it. Uh, they were looking at it. People didn't believe it. Well, here's Wired Magazine. Bad idea. The anti-hijacking safety bracelet is what it's called. It's a taser bracelet because it, it's funny. Uh, Jim Mars, uh, author, researcher, best-selling author, uh, his latest book is The Trillion Dollar Conspiracy, available at Infowars.com and the online video bookstore if you want to get it. And he said, next, it's going to be like The Running Man with Schwarzenegger. That's actually a Stephen King book uh, made into the film under another name. Uh, you know, a, 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 a bracelet around our neck that tasered us. us. And, and, and during the break, I said, Jim, you haven't heard? They're actually proposing that we all wear taser bracelets. I mean, land of the free, home of the brave, a total police state in the name of safety. There, there's never enough cops. There's never enough. It was citizens that stopped this guy, a woman, when he was putting a new clip in, that that grabbed the gun away and two men that tackled him. I, I'm surprised they didn't break his neck. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, surprisingly, uh, I guess it's a Democratic event while there wasn't any concealed carry. I guarantee if that was a Republican public event, there'd have been a half dozen people right there who would have blown that guy away. The answer is more guns, not less. I mean, look at Chicago, look at New York. They have total gun bans in their city limits, and they have the highest crime rates in the country. A lot more home invasions. They don't invade your house one tenth as much in Texas or Florida or, or Arizona, because you come in my house, I'm going to kill you. Uh, uh, Jim Mars, uh, your comment on this. Well, absolutely. Of course, Alex, you and I both, we're just good old Texas boys, you know? I mean, uh, and I live out here in a kind of a rural area. Uh, somebody comes on my property, they better be prepared to quickly announce themselves, say who they are and what their business is, because out in rural Texas, uh, it's still totally legal that if somebody's uh, trespassing, uh, you give them a warning, you can just take a pot shot at them. And we don't have any real problems out here. Our biggest crimes are burglaries, you know, they're coming rob somebody's house when nobody's there. No, I don't recall anything here recently where anybody broke into some occupied house. They just don't do it. Uh, that's what happens when you disarm the population. Then the criminals know, well, they don't have anything really to worry about except your fist or a baseball bat. So they just, uh, just do what they want to do. 
the, the police agencies are overtaxed. And as you said, even though the police response uh, out in Arizona was uh, actually pretty quick. I mean, I think they were on the scene like within five minutes. But still, five minutes. He, he could have killed 20, 30 more people in five minutes. No kidding. In a matter of minutes, he um, shot 18 people and what killed killed six. Thank God that woman. Did you see the video of the guy uh, who ended up uh, getting shot uh, in Florida over his wife getting fired from the city? Oh, in the city council meeting? Yeah, yeah. and the uh, and the school board lady hits him in the back of the head with her bag? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he just stood there and looked at her like, what are you doing? Yeah, well, it, 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 she, she should have been carrying a revolver in her purse and blown that guy away. And that would have been the end of it. That is the answer. Just shot him right in the back. Uh, now, uh, this is a short segment right now, but a longer segment's coming up. But, Jim, I want to get started on the mind control because for people that don't know the history of this, we covered that, that Congress admits it, uh, that he'd made videos about mind control. A lot of times people who are under mind control think that 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 uh, they're involved in mind control or they're secretly working for the government on a secret mission. That's what he'd been telling friends. Now, again, the reason this is perfect is that just sounds like a schizophrenic. But in so many cases, it's turned out in the case of Sirhan Sirhan, uh, if you just tuned in, folks, I have all the mainstream news articles linked. Uh, in the article that Paul Joseph Watson wrote, Arizona Assassin Obsessed with Mind Control, it turns out that the L.A. police uh, said something was going on, that it was the wrong calendar, uh, caliber, that Sirhan Sirhan hadn't fired as much. I mean, go over just the RFK assassination alone. Okay, well, of course, uh, Thomas Noguchi, a world-class, grade-A, number one uh, medical examiner, testified under oath in court that the shot that killed Robert Kennedy was fired into his right mastoid, which is the bone behind your right ear, at a range of no more than three inches. In other words, the gun barrel was within three inches of the rear of his right ear. Well, of course, Sirhan Sirhan never got to within about, about six feet of him, and that was in front of him. Also, Sirhan Sirhan uh, had a gun that only contained six rounds, and yet they were pulling bullets out of the cabinets and the door frames ceiling tiles, all of which disappeared uh, mysteriously. And enough. the acoustics only show less shots than were confirmed. I mean, more yeah. shots than what the government had claimed. Yeah. And this was the L.A. medical examiner saying it was a fraud. Right. Now, to step forward a little bit, there was a uh, psychiatrist whose name escapes me at the moment who was treating Sirhan Sirhan in prison and came out publicly and said that he exhibited hypnotic blocks. That he, in other words, he was a programmed assassin. And he was admittedly uh, programmed that day, and the lady with the polka dot dress and the drugs in the coffee, and uh, his arm was pinned as the shots were being fired, but it didn't matter. They filled RFK full of holes. That's right. And then, uh, uh, interestingly enough, there was a man uh, who was known as the Walking Bible because he uh, reportedly had memorized every verse of the Bible, and he dealt in horses, and he was outside the Ambassador Hotel waiting to meet with Sirhan Sirhan, who told him he was going to come into some money and want to buy a racehorse from him. And this fellow uh, who was going to sell him the racehorse uh, just happened to be uh, related uh, to the man who shot uh, Governor Wallace. You see how all of this is intertwined, intertwined, inter intertwined. It's just. It's and then it turns out there was an admitted CIA operative. This has now been mainstream news confirmed. Who was coming in with Kennedy that day? I mean, the list just goes on and on, Jim. Yeah, it does. It really does. And uh, it, it's the. Uh, uh, it's uh, you've got guys like uh, Albert Lowenstein was a senator. Uh, and uh, Dennis Sweeney walks into his office and shoots him and then just sits there smiling, waiting on the police to arrive. And it turns out that Dennis Sweeney had been undergoing psychiatric treatment by Dr. Peter Bourne, who was Jimmy Carter's White House physician, who got finally got dumped because he was writing bad drug script. And Peter Bourne and his father, Peter Bourne Sr., all operated the mental hospital on the island of Grenada, Okay, which reportedly was where they were turning out the CIA brainwashed assassins. And yet when uh, Maurice Bishop uh, took over and became uh, the leader on the island of Grenada, apparently they were fearful that he was kind of a left-leaning 
government, and though, so they apparently decided, you know, he might blow the whistle on this hospital uh, run by the Bourne. So what happened? We invested.